Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa. I just got back from the post office, running some errands, and I have a package that I've been waiting for. And I wanted to open it, unbox it on camera because I'm literally so excited. This is an early birthday gift to myself. My birthday is on September 26th, in case you're wondering. For this video, I kind of want to just vlog the weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. I'm going home to see some friends, family, take some pictures for my best friend and her boyfriend. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a vlog style video. I haven't done one in a while. So before we get started with all of that, let me just open this beautiful box. Girlies, I am so excited. So excited. Did someone say boots of the season? Oh my God, they're like prettier than I expected them to be. Did someone say stunning? Cause, wow. Let me just try these on really quick. Um. Not gonna lie. This was a, this was a really, this is a fantastic purchase, actually. These are like really comfy too. Like, hello? Okay. Not me being obsessed. Okay, don't mind me looking like a literal mess, but I just warmed myself up some lunch. I have some leftover vegetable lentil soup and then um, leftover Brussels sprouts from dinner last night and leeks that I just cooked. I freaking love leeks. But this weekend I am going to my hometown. I am going to take pictures of my best friend and her boyfriend, uh, do a little couple photo shoot, and then I think we're staying until um, Monday afternoon. So I just wanted to take you guys along with me for the weekend. I haven't done a vlog in a while or or like a travel vlog, even though it's not, I'm not really traveling, I'm going home, but Thought it'd be kind of entertaining, so I just wanted to bring you guys along. Before I leave, I have to, I have one more load of laundry that I have to do. Um, I have to fold that laundry. Really, really would like to work out, and then I just need to pack. So I'm praying that I get it all done. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along and show you all the fun stuff that I'm doing this weekend. Also, guys, I got my nails done. Look how freaking cute they are. I'm obsessed. All right guys, so it is officially getting closer to the time where I'm about to leave and I just laid out my stuff that I'm going to pack. So I wanted to show you to a little pack with me before I put everything away. So right over here, I just have like my skincare bag along with some hair products and my makeup bag. That's my travel bag. The shoes that I'm bringing are these like white pillow slides from Zara and then these black croc style short booties from Misguided. And then of course, always, I literally wear my pillow slides everywhere. And then I just have a pair of light wash mom shorts and then a pair of light wash 90s Abercrombie Love Curve jeans. Um, and kind of my plan is to pair this taupe colored ribbed tank top with the mom jeans and then i have like this sheer over shirt to go along with that and then i have this ribbed midi dress i think we're gonna go out to brunch so i thought that would be cute then i just have some pajamas and then i have like literally three different top options i have like a rapture a green one shouldered crop top and then this blue ribbed shirt that has some cutouts in the back i thought that was really pretty and then I have just this set active set for when I'm taking photos or on our drive home.
We're engaged. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh. We're, We're engaged. engaged. <laughs> hey friends. I had every intention of filming the vlog, a vlog this weekend, but someone had other other plans. I, I had other plans for your vlog, actually. Other plans. Yeah. So I even told him that I was gonna vlog this weekend. We I did know. you have a little chuckle to yourself? Yeah, and I said you should vlog this weekend. Yeah. I better be really good. Yeah. And it turned out to be pretty good. It was a great weekend. Um let's pick up where we left off, shall we? So the last thing that I filmed was me packing for the trip back to my hometown. Got to my best friend's house, we watched Goosebumps, we fell asleep, we woke up in the morning and we had a beautiful brunch that I that I meant to film, but I was feeling a little anxious. And that Allie day. told me you looked like you were crying. Yeah, my best friend told me I looked like I was crying, so I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> we had a great brunch, but I was feeling very anxious that day and the day before, but I couldn't figure out why. Um, I just felt anxious for no reason. The main reason I even went back home was to take pictures for my boyfriend. Or, that's my boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. To take pictures for my best friend and her boyfriend. So after brunch, we decided you to- You thought. I thought. I thought. You thought. That's, that's the catch here. Yeah. Was going to take their pictures and we went to the art museum in my hometown. And we took a couple pictures there, and then my best friend was like, okay, let's go up to a parking garage. So she was kind of di like diverting my attention a little bit, like making excuses. And you only took two pictures at the art museum. Yeah, I only took two, which two was pictures weird. at the art, which was weird. And I just, you know, I was keeping it to myself. A lot of things going on in my mind anyways, because I've been hoping this would happen for a while. But we go up to the parking garage and she's making all these excuses like, oh, let's walk over to the parking garage. I don't think we could park there. I think it costs money, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, just park up there. It's fine. You're not going to get a ticket, blah, 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 blah. So she parks kind of on a lower level and she's like, I want to park my car in the shade. And I was like, girl, it's cloudy outside. <laughs> it's cloudy. That's a horrible excuse. I know. And I just, I didn't say anything. I was just like, whatever, <coughs> let's let's do it. Let's do it. And that is where the, vi the clips that you just saw pick up where I'm walking up to the parking garage, ready to take their pictures. But instead, I see a photographer, I see my boyfriend's parents, and then I see and I my just, boyfriend. I was just standing there. I was just standing there like this, the biggest smile. He had face. the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> And, and then I saw you in your reaction. I started laughing my ass. Yeah. Because I knew you would react exactly like that. Yeah. That's why it was so funny. He knows me very well. Yeah. And then what's even funnier is that he left his phone at our apartment in Chicago and drove two hours and was texting me on yeah, the laptop. Yeah, because I know that if you saw my phone was on the way to your hometown, you'd start asking questions. Or if it was anywhere other than our apartment or at the paintball place I was supposed to be with my best friend. Yes you'd start asking questions. So I left my phone here because she, she thought I was home all day and I told her I was going paintballing later in the afternoon and I brought my laptop. I was texting her from my laptop all day and I was connected to my dad's hotspot. It was sneaky sneaky. Let Very me sneaky. It was sneaky sneaky because he's not wrong. I was checking his location. Yeah, not I know. Lie. And he popped the question. It's so exciting. And what I say before I popped the question. I don't remember. I, <laughs> I had this out whole speech. Bit. I had this whole speech ready. I mean, not a whole speech. It was, it was like a few sentences, but I had this whole thing rehearsed and ready. I was thinking about it for a few days. She doesn't even remember what I said. She was crying too hard, just yeah. so happy. The the adrenaline, like yeah. it was just it was all happening so fast, and I was just so caught off guard. I thought I was taking pictures for my friend, <laughs> so it was a. Uh, it was a whirlwind, but we're all very excited. Everybody's been waiting for this for a while, so. Especially you. Especially me. Here's the 
Here's the rock, everybody. Isn't oh, it it's beautiful? A rock. It's an expensive rock. So, a um, little, little quick story behind the ring. I have never been, really been like into diamonds that much. I've never really been drawn to diamonds or wanted diamonds. And um, obviously, when you're a little girl and you want to get married, when you grow up, you dream about what, who you're going to marry, what it's going to be like. Am and I your dream guy? You are my dream guy. Really? Maybe. But I remember seeing Princess Diana's ring and I was like, oh my gosh, like engagement rings don't have to be diamonds. And I love sapphires. Sapphire is my birthstone. Sapphire is a nine on the hardness scale, which diamonds are 10. So it's just under a diamond. So it's still a good stone to wear every day. Um, and also sapphires are symbols for everlasting love and commitment and loyalty. Vera Wang put hides little sapphires in all of her wedding rings. This ring, ring means a lot to me and it means so much to me that Dean customized this ring just for me. Well, I knew exactly what you wanted. He knew exactly, I gave him exactly what I wanted. I had um, a full note sheet of your size, the size of the uh, sapphire you wanted, your... Yeah. Um, what kind of band you wanted and everything. I made it easy. It's pretty easy, but I made it still easy. a fun process and I mean, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so I'm freaking in love with the ring. I'm in love with this guy. Aww. Do you want to say anything from leading up when you were designing the ring? Yeah. yeah, so I started planning in early July and I proposed on September 4th, so it was about a two month process. I went to a ring store um, by our apartment with my mom and we liked it, but then she suggested that I go to this lady that she knew very well. And we went there and they brought in a few sapphires and I saw this one. They brought in like five sapphires and this, she pulled this one out, it was like the third one that she pulled out. And the first two were like kind of dark, but this one, like dark blue, this one had like an amazing glow to it and it was super clear and shiny and I knew like right away that I needed to get it even though it was the most expensive one <laughs> I was like I don't care freaking Alyssa's gonna love this it's perfect and I'd regret it if I didn't get the nicest one for her to wear forever so I got this one he went to the jeweler with his mom and I just think that's like the cutest yeah thing ever. She, we went four or five different times to like lock it down to like mm -hmm. one separate time to talk about the band, one time to talk about the sapphires, one time like um, to pick it up and everything. And it was a process, but it, it actually like the process of getting the ring customized was like a month long process. And then mm -hmm. I got it then had to plan the day I was going to do it and how I was going to do it. And Alyssa's best friend, Allie, really helped me out with that. She sent me all the suggestions that Alyssa has given her over the years. <laughs> and that was a lot. Allie sent me a picture that you had sent her like a year ago or something of the setup you wanted, like with mm -hmm. the arch and the candles. And I was like, Just an right. idea. It didn't need to be that, but that was an but idea. It, to me, it had to be that because that's the only thing that Allie sent me mm. about your setup. And um, so I got the arch and stuff. and. Went to South Bend with Rick and Marie and they helped me so much like setting everything up and Danielle the photographer helped me a lot too mm -hmm. and we set it up in about two hours and was there in time to surprise you and then everything paid off when I saw your reaction. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it was amazing. It was a great day and obviously afterwards we just spent some time with family and went out to dinner and then uh, we drove back home to our apartment and then spent the next day together and I'll include some videos of that to end the video, but we are super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to keep you guys updated on all things wedding planning, all wedding content. However, we do plan on having like a little bit of a longer engagement so we can really just enjoy the process and enjoy being engaged and we don't really want to rush anything. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. We are gonna go make out yeah we're gonna go make out watch a tv show it's gonna be great if you liked today's video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified every single time i post leave a like leave a comment whatever you feel like doing and i will see you in next week's video bye